Hi, I am Hussain Tabi, and I welcome you to HT Design YouTube channel. So today's topic is about uh, V-Ray physical camera. Most of my students and most of my colleagues also asked me that uh, where the V-Ray camera, where uh, physical camera is disappeared in 2016, Autodesk 3ds Max 2016, but uh, Unfortunately, 3ds Max Autodesk has removed uh, V-Ray physical camera. You can see here we are in V-Ray tab here, but the physical camera is not visible. Actually, it's not here. They, they have removed it. So there are uh, two ways to create physical camera in your scene. The first way is to go here and run the script uh, yourself. All right. So uh, script and uh, here you can type like a new script and you type a script here and create your V-Ray camera but the next way is more easy which I would like to uh, show you and that one is uh, just go to this website here it's www.scriptspot.com okay and here you can see this script create V-Ray physical camera from viewport right and you can say here that they have given the setup that how you can use it okay and just click in here and it will be downloaded and will show in your download bar and what you have to do is you can just go here where your quick V-Ray camera is and you just click it and go to your 3ds Max and drag it and you have this tab here okay and you just have to click on this button here create V-Ray physical camera and when you click on it you will see you have a V-Ray physical camera now appearing in your 3ds Max 2016 version okay and you will see here uh, when we created this V-Ray camera you can see here there is no uh, target to move so what you have to do is after uh, creating this camera you have to go to the modify panel and then just double check this target it checkbox okay so when you come here you will see now you have a target and you can move it okay so let's say we have a scene in uh, here on the scene I have let's open something for now let's open uh, this one sorry I guess uh, this one will be okay all right so I have the scene here let me remove the video camera and I'll show you how we can put that. So just select this one, delete from here. Okay. And now go to the top view here. And what I can do is I can just go here, take this in here, create video physical camera. And it will be here. It's not visible. Why? Because you are in a shaded mode. You go to the wireframe and let's check if we have here, but still it's not visible. Let me go to the front report and I think it is there. Yeah. Okay. Go to go to the top view and let's just move this here. In left, I'll go and I'll double check this so I'll have a target and I can move this target like this exactly in front of it. Okay, and then you just take this here, move this here, go to the camera view, and then adjust whatever you want. So now, when you go here. You have V-Ray physical camera properties. Everything 
is back all right so this is how you can use it there is another way of setting the camera let me delete this one the very easy way is you just go here drag it here create video camera select the camera double check target okay and while creating uh sorry selecting this camera how you can create is first set your view okay like uh, i want this front view here so go to the perspective adjust it and just press ctrl c so see the camera is now move from here and your view has become this camera view when you press C, you will see here we are into physical camera now. The camera is automatically adjusted. See? Okay. For example, if I want to adjust like this, so you just select this camera and press Ctrl C. Now this is your view. When you press C, you are into physical camera. And in perspective, you can see the camera is set in this direction. So it's so easy to set your camera like this. Right? It's a very easy trick. Just go to the front perspective, adjust your view, and press Ctrl C. That's it. Right? And right click, select camera, adjust it, whatever you like, and then go here and your settings are back. Okay, so if you like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel for more tutorials. Thank you. Whoa.